Hi, Access Hollywood. I'm Adam Pally. I'm John Gabris. And we're on the set of our new show, 101 Places to Party Before You Die, which is premiering on July 14th, Bastille Day. We are on a mountaintop vodka farm, <laughs> and that's just a little tease. <laughs> I think the series came to be because we are, we're best friends and we've traveled doing comedy for a long time. And then at the same time, we're both obsessed with food and travel shows. That's what we watch. Yeah, and we're experience chasers, box checkers. Like, we want to try this thing that we saw, we heard about this thing. And then the idea of doing a travel show together like truly never came to our We were like, man, it'd be so fun. We could just travel together if we, and then we we're like, oh. What if it was our job? And I think we, we love to do bits. And like, uh, we have this really easy com like understanding that we're gonna do bits from the moment we wake up till the moment we go to sleep, and so we might as well do them in amazing locations yeah. with amazing food. And Ask amazing anyone bits. on the crew, they will roll their eyes and say, yeah, they, yeah, do, they a, do a lot of bits. A lot of bits. A lot of bits. The goal for us is like, yeah, we want to be a travel show, but we're improv comedians, and that's what we've done our entire lives. And so for us, as much as it's fun to see the food and the drinks and the amazing locations, like, funny first and we hope that you watch You don't want to hear from us. Like, we're, we're not chefs. informed on food yeah. and drinks. We are purely consumers. The only thing that, <laughs> that I know about food is that I have enough tattoos to be considered a chef. <laughs> the only thing I know about food is that it equals love and it will kill me someday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. Oh, look at that bad boy. Oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I do love food. That's his parent. <laughs> and shout out Justin, our producer, who remembered that I have this tattoo and I don't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, do it, son. Show it. Do it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I know you guys have been getting up to some kind of wild adventures. You went surfing for the first time. Has mm -hmm. there, is there anything that would be too much for you guys, or are you down for anything? I don't like heights, admittedly. And I know by saying that now, it's like season two, all these executives are going to be like, throw them out of a plane. But like, I won't do it. I'll quit right there. <laughs> Uh, I, I'd rather kill myself on camera than jump out of a plane. I, uh, okay. I, I won't do I'm serious. I'd rather jump out of a plane without a parachute, is what you're saying. <laughs> no, that, I don't like the heights of it. I drown. I'd rather drown on camera. Um, no, I, I don't, I've always had a problem with heights. I like really can't stand them, but I think we're rappelling down a waterfall tomorrow, so that'll be great. Be facing your, your fears, you know? Yeah, I'll be facing them straight down. I, my, I don't like riding horses. I feel too much guilt towards the animal because of my weight, so. That, that stressed me out big time, and I was not having fun riding horses in Moab. That was that was not for me, as the kids say. Looking back at all the places that you've been to this season, what have been some highlights that you've really enjoyed together? Got every place, like the, the fun thing about this show is that every city and then every scene and every restaurant and every experience has its own little like pop of uniqueness and fun. I mean, a credit to our producers and researchers, they find dope ass spots. We get recommendations from uh, friends and we also have been to some of these cities. So we have stuff we want to bring and stories we want to tell. So it's like a big group effort picking out these places and choosing the spot. And it's, I mean, it's they beautiful. It. Yeah. I mean, like from, from eating like lobster pop tarts at Barton G in Miami to legit like driving up the face of Mars in Moab. It's all special and fun and weird. And we get to watch it again, like being like, we did that. You know, it's, it's, it's a really unique experience. In Oregon, we had a cannabis chef cook us a private dinner in her home because of the legal rules of consumption have to be inside a home. So she offered to host us. That experience could never happen. Like, and, like, and we got to do that. That's just yeah. like, and that's the other thing about the show is all the shit we do on the show is shit we would do if the cameras weren't rolling. It's like, let's try five different things today, eat like Gavones, get blasted, do a bunch of dumb bits, alienate a server or two. Then, like, that's like, we would be doing leave it a, anyway. Leave a big tip because we feel guilty yep. and then go to sleep by 7.30 because we're 40. Yeah. Snore, get yelled at about snoring, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sleep on your side, fix it, get up in the morning. Check your heart, your blood pressure, <laughs> you want to do your BPM. Yeah. Stretch a little, uh, yeah. get, you know, water, coffee, the usual. Greens and juices. <laughs> Gotta be prepped. Now, can we talk a little bit about your friendship? How long have you guys been friends? Can you talk a little bit about that? We've been friends, I, I, think, I think, like, like 18, 18 years. Yeah, yeah, we met, like, our, our first comedy group at UCB, we, we were put on the same team. As a matter of fact, with our producer, Justin was on that team, too. So, I think we were 22. Later, we're we were like, 22 and he was 35. Yeah, well, it's weird. He's only 39 now and we're 40. Crazy. <laughs> I don't get it, man. Crazy. He's running on Europe time. So. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, we've been friends for so long and then also friends that were co-workers also so it's like a kind of a comp like that freelance life like Adam's doing my podcast all the time he's getting me guest spots on his and shit. also when we were young we would tour and do comedy so it's like you would you would 
have and to go to college parties at 25. Yeah, you'd have to play like the, <laughs> u, the University of Buffalo, and then you'd have to find out like, well, what's fun about Buffalo? And then we found out, well, we can have fun anywhere. Yeah, and like truly, the kernel of the show started happening on those tour codes because we'd be like, we're going to Buffalo. Let's try that place, Anchor, that makes the Anchor Bar that makes the they're famous for their wings. It's like smart. Let's do that. What else do we want to do? Oh, we heard. So every time we've traveled somewhere, it's like, well, if we're in, if we're driving through New Haven, let's go to Don Pepper. And I think yeah. it's sometimes it's like when you travel alone and you don't have your best friend with you, you set these goals of things you want to experience and things you want to do but you can let yourself down you know it's like i got tired i i didn't get there i'm alone i watch netflix in the room we're pretty lazy dudes but we can like really pump each other yeah up. it's like, like we come can on dude when yeah. are we going to be back at a vodka distillery on the top of a mountain in maui you know? <laughs> hopefully soon brother <laughs> well i did invest i did invest <laughs>